I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting video on triangular numbers. Now this is part one which is very good for our junior and middle school students. We we'll look into pattern of making dots and forming triangles. So let's begin with the single dot. So we have one dot here and now we'll start making a pattern. So we'll introduce two layers. So we started with one dot, then we added two more to make a particular triangle, right? So if I add one more layer by adding three more dots, I could have a triangle with six dots. So we have three dots now. So if I add a triangle, one layer at the base, then what I get is another triangle with three layers. We started with one dot. We made two layers, adding two at the bottom. Then third one, three at the bottom. And now we'll add the fourth layer to it. So we started with one dot, added two. Then we added three. And now we are going to add another one. So what we have here is the fourth pattern. Likewise, this pattern can grow. So let's make a table to check in every pattern how many dots are there, right? So we'll just make a table here to check how many dots are we getting as the pattern grows. So let's say this is dots. And here let's write the pattern number. So beginning with pattern number one, we get one dot, right? In pattern number two, this is our pattern number one, this is pattern two, three, four, and so on. So in pattern number two, you can count we have three dots, correct? In pattern number three, we have three more than three. So it becomes six. Pattern number four, we have four more than previous six, so we get ten. So in five, if we keep on adding uh, one more each time, then we can form a pattern, right? So, so likewise, in sixth, we are going to have how many? So what we see here is that as we move on, first we added two dots, and then we added three dots, and then four, five and now we should add six correct so 15 plus 6 is 21 and likewise we can grow this pattern and find the number of dots now as an exercise can you tell me how many dots will be there in the tenth pattern without actually making them right so as you can see we are adding one more each time, right? So one way is we can count as going up. So let's add seven now, so we get 28. So for eight, we'll add eight, right? So we get 28 plus eight as 36, plus nine, right? So we get 45, and then for 10, We'll add 10, we get 55. Do you see that? So adding these numbers each time will give us the next pattern. It was easy to figure out how many will be there in the 10th pattern. Let me just push this a bit. But if my question is, how many will there be in the 100th pattern? Now going in this fashion is so difficult, right? What should we do? So we should figure out a pattern rule. So that gives us an idea of getting into a pattern rule, right? What kind of rule can we have? One way of writing the rule is start at one, add two, right? Add two, and then add one more 
each time, right? So you could write this as your pattern rule. But this pattern rule helps you to make a table like we were trying to make earlier. We need another kind of rule which could straight away give us the number. We call that rule as explicit rule. Where without going through all the sequence directly we can find how many are there in the hundredth pattern, right? So for that, we'll have to relate these numbers somehow. So what we see here is that in first we have one, in two we have three, in three we have six, four we have 10, five we have 15. Uh, now, we also see that the previous one adds to the next one to get to the new one, right? In such kind of patterns, what you observe is that these numbers could be derived if I do a small trick here. To get to 1, I can multiply 1 and 2 and then divide by 2, right? So, so if I do 1 times 2 and then divide by 2, what do I get? Uh, let's figure it out. 1 times 2 is 2 and then divide by 2 is 1, correct? Let's follow this method. Now for the second one, so I'll do 2 times 3 and then divide by 2. What do I get? 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 3 times 1 is 3. Or you can say 2 times 3 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3, right? So, so that gives you the number 3. And if I continue with this pattern for 3, I'll write 3 times 4 divided by 2. For 4, I'll write 4 times 5 divided by 2. Similarly, I can continue. So for 10, what can I write? For 10, I can say it is 10 times 11 divided by 2, right? So that gives me 55, right? The number matches. Do you see that? With 100, what should I do? 100 times 101 divide by 2. That will be my answer. So 100 by 2 is 50. So we got 50 times 101. 50 means 1, 0 you add and multiply by 5. So 5, 0, 5. So we get 5,050 dots for the 100th pattern. Do you see that? So that is how you can apply a rule and this kind of rule is called explicit rule. So if the number is n, then we say explicit set rule here is n times n plus 1, right? Divide by 2. Now if you have two numbers like this, one after the other, these numbers are called consecutive numbers. Right, these are called consecutive numbers. I missed M in between. These are consecutive numbers. So it is product of consecutive numbers divided by 2. So half the product of consecutive numbers give you the numbers in your triangular patterns. Do you un understand now? So that is how we get. Now my question here is to find new patterns. So can you create or find new patterns here? Uh, let's try to figure it out how we can find new patterns. So we can work on these numbers. So if I add 1 and 3, how much do I get? If I add 3 and 6, what do I get? So what we will do now is try to add these numbers and see what do we get. So let me rewrite these numbers. Right, so we'll write horizontally 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, and so on. So let me write here 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, and so on. Now, what I'm trying to do is add the term numbers which are side by side. So if I add 1 and 3, what do I get? 
1 plus 3 is 4, right? What is 3 plus 6? 3 plus 6 is 9. 6 plus 10 is 16. 10 plus 15 is 25. 15 plus 21 is 36. And so on. Do you see that? These numbers which you get by adding term numbers side by side are perfect squares. So 4 is 2 square, 9 is 3 square, 16 is 4 square, 25 is 5 square, 36 is 6 square and so on. So you also see a pattern of squares, perfect squares when you add two term numbers side by side. So that's kind of a very important rule or pattern which we observe in triangular numbers. I hope that really helps you to appreciate these triangular numbers. I'm Anil Kumar. You should feel free to post questions, subscribe to my videos, put some likes if you like. Thank you and all the best.